Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, day two of the Call of Duty Warzone Golden Goblet Part 3. Maybe it's day 15 or 16, depending on your perspective. Um, I gotta admit, I'm still, I'm still shaking a little. Look, I don't get to the final circle all that much. Every time I get to the final circle, it's still special for me. I would like to acknowledge that uh, I don't know how we lived in the Gulag. <laughs> Um, but that game, I mean, we really, in my heart of hearts, we legitimately had a shot at the win. There was three people left, two people looked at me. That's, and I'm not salty about it. If I'd killed the one that shot at me first, we would have been one-on-one, -on -one, and that ATV was going to give me a lot of cover. I can always see the comments, by the way. Don't use the ATV, don't use the ATV for, the circle's the size of a postage stamp. And it's an open field with a house that's already occupied. You gotta do what you gotta do is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not salty about it. Sincerely. I'm happy to have gotten to that point. I recognize there were a couple of strokes of luck that led us to that. And if I had my heartbeat censored, they would have they would have been destroyed. Infinity Ward, it's just because I didn't have my heartbeat censor. No, really, like, I take a lot of inspiration from uh, Apollo, who has won tons of solo BRs and BRs in general is... The, the best player on the team unity, and I don't feel that's controversial to say. Let me put it this way. I got a .93. I went up .01 thanks to that last one. We got a, a 28 gap between kills and deaths. Um, Apollo, I think he's like a 2.3. And then Dan and Malf are both in the .75 range. And that's not to knock Dan and Malf. They bring their own strengths for sure. And I know that sounds backhanded, but... Like, genuinely, Malf with a lower KDR, I think, is a better player. Especially in solos in particular. And I'm not gassing him up just to make it look worse for him if he lost yesterday. <laughs> Which he probably did, because I came third out of 150. But last time I came fifth, I got a bronze medal, because Dan came second and Malf came first. Which was just unbelievable. But uh, I think Malf's, Malf's tactical game is better. Maybe I got a leg up on the shooting side, temporarily. I'll take it. Oh, this server's a little, little jank. Little jank on the server side. I'm not, that's not the problem. But anyway, I take a lot of solace from Apollo, who said, you know, like, sometimes in, unless you're Shroud, the final circle does have a large element of luck involved. You know, it depends where it is, and it depends on who's where. You can obviously, <laughs> you can obviously, you know, change your own results for better or for worse, but... Uh, it, there's a little bit of luck involved, for sure. Just drop me, dude. We're not gonna get another shot off here. Dude, this server's like... It's a little jacked. You're seeing, like, the... Like, it doesn't look that bad, but occasionally it's got a... It's got a weird sort of vibe going on. Um, where do I like here? Well, generally, like, I can't even zoom in. Some Something's... This doesn't feel right, dude. Okay. Oh, skid it. Oh, this is... I don't know if I want this to be my, my counting one. It's triple XP weekend, boys. People are they're getting riled up. Um, I think it's, it's sorting itself out now. Um, honestly... Drop me, drop me around here. I'll live with the drop over here. We got a big move into the circle if if we have to go that way, but... Yeah, you know what? Drop me here Keep instead. Drop zone marks. Get ready. Get, please just remove it. Never mind. And if, if it's hot here, it's hot here. Oh my god, dude. I know you're gonna be like, it's your PC. It's really not. The servers have been friggin' hammered. Uh... I assume every, it's like the last weekend of Season 3, so everybody's trying to get that Battle Pass leveled up. You seem to be pretty safe here. Just trying to loot the dead silence. Look, we'll give this some time. I'm, you, you should know by now if you watch me play uh, and you watch the Golden Goblets. Winning is secondary. Good entertainment is, is my predominant concern. Um, if this server ends up being extraordinarily jacked up, we'll just, we'll, 
quit and enter into a new one. Because I really, I don't want, I don't want my win to be tainted by this. Yeah, honestly, I think, I'm just going to say it, this is the right thing to do in my opinion. I think you, you just drop into a new one here. I would, because I don't want, it's not like an excuse thing, but I would rather there be no excuse if I die. And, you know, no, nothing holding me back if I win either, or I, I put down a good performance. You know, I don't want people to be like, oh, it's just lag. Don't worry, NL, you just got killed by lag. Or don't worry, NL, you know, you only got 10 kills because of lag. This one, that one doesn't count. And I think, honestly, that's like a baseball game that got rained out. You know, that one's out of my hands. But I'm excited to be here, excited to be playing some more Warzone. It's very frenetic when you come into a Warzone video. Very scary because you don't know, right? Is it a 10 minute video? Is it a is it a 40 minute video? Is it a 40 minute video because there's three losses? Is it a 10 minute video because 135 out of 150 people quit because the server was bad and then you stayed in there and <laughs> tried to get the the win? Let's see where we are on the battle pass. Oh, 15 minute double XP token. Oh baby. We're so close to getting the little jug charm. I think, like, realistically, we're definitely not going to get to level 100, which is fine. Um, might be able to get ourselves to level 90. I would say, like, because we have Unity, 95 might be possible. Yeah, 95 might be possible. And then in Season 4, we'll get that, we'll get that John Wick skin. Don't hesitate. All right. I, I am glad we're back in Warzone, honestly. I feel like Warzone is just a uh, just a great game. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, and you know, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea because people tell me. They're like, hey, I'm glad you like it, but this Warzone stuff ain't really my cup of tea. But if you like it, I think you'll love it. Great, great spray control. Great spray control. I don't know. I felt like I deserved that one. <laughs> oh, dude. Somebody's making Jiffy Pop down here. Okay. That's not great. You know, you're all I'm going to say about that. It's not really my loadout. I would describe that as not my loadout. But I'm not sweating the pregame lobby. Pregame lobby don't mean, don't mean squat. Never mind. The pregame lobby is the most pertinent test of skill in this whole game. If you don't mess with the pregame lobby, you're not welcome in Team Unity. That's all I'm saying. Dude, I should use the P90 more. <laughs> Unfortunately, the pregame lobby does not impact your, your KDR. Alright, so if we're flying in this way... Even the, the sound in the plane is bugged recently. Um, that building's usually pretty popular. I'm kind of like a... Put, put me... Train station. Trains... Uh, hold on. Boneyard is a little... It's a little hot by my standards. I kind of like this recon contract. I like this area just outside of Boneyard, personally. I got a lot of deaths there. <laughs> All right, so get yourself settled. Last game was good. I, I really have no complaints about last game. Um, well, except for not being able to use my tactical and my lethal, but who knows? You know, maybe it, maybe at the end of the day it helped me. Well, we're dropping here. Just take a quick look. Lots of people going down. Maybe one dude who appears to possibly be on a similar trajectory, but we, we got a lot further to go. He's going Superstore. He's on the Superstore roof. Just keeping eyes. Just keeping eyes. I see you. You're not gonna... It, I respect him. He didn't take pistol shots at me. It's getting hot out there already, huh? Okay, so early game momentum. You get yourself a gun. Hey, the oceanographer. Hello. Not ideal. 
but could be worse. I don't, we don't take shots at that. I would have liked to have, um, but just the fact that he didn't come to kill me was quite Move nice. Now we need a second real gun. Really? Pop that dead silence, please. I know, you're like, he didn't take the rocket. Is he okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. <sighs> Scared me. I need a real gun, dude. There's one there, but I don't know how to get it. I feel like Storage Town is usually a little hot. In fact, I feel like I might have heard a door. Well, that's not how you do that. The Dragunov is actually worse than the Oceanographer by far, in my opinion. So we'll just get the heck out of here. Um, I rate this start a 2 out of 5. Didn't have to fight anybody, which is pretty sweet. Loot is a little low, but a lot of people really hate the Odin. I think because the fire rate is pretty low, but... I ain't got nothing against it. And this is my area. This is where I like to be, honestly. The only thing I would say is, normally, I didn't know that there was a man who landed on Superstore. I think we're safe-ish. This fighting happening the other way. We can hold this area for a bit once this is done. See where the circle's going? I see the car. Someone's getting out of here to fight me. They got out of their car, they got back in. <laughs> they got out, they got back in. Ammo's nice. They're like around here. Gas is closing in. I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Um, I do like the Uzi, but I, I think the Odin is a little bit more all-purpose for us right now. These guys are like, they're not messing around, dude. All right, maybe they are messing around. Maybe that's maybe that's precisely what they're doing. <laughs> All right, we're in the second circle, which is exciting news. We have not really managed to accomplish very much, though. I would be careful of a couple of things. Superstore roof. Is that a man? Ease up on that propaganda, please. Okay. This thing's like a laser beam. Good hit. Great hit. What can you say? Oh, no! No! Not after that incredible defense. We out this. Use your noggin. What an opportunist. So jealous that I got such a good kill. You couldn't live with your failure. Where did that bring you? <laughs> Back to me. Can I ask? Can I ask you something? Did you like that gas escape? That's what I was gonna say before I was so rudely interrupted. I believe there is still a dude back where we were, by the way. The Gur is really nice, in my opinion. My man's not playing around anymore. I'm sick of being pushed around. Now, we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> no! 
We can fire forever. We can fire forever. With the GUR, you can fire forever. Okay, does anybody else have any problems with me they'd like to handle right off the bat? Feel like I've been more than amenable. These were not good fights. Yet we live. So I think... I mean, we could loot the guy we dusted. But I don't think we need to. I think we'd be much better off hitting up like a good buy station. I'm gonna hope that's in these buildings. It's like suppressed shots back there. I know this area pretty well because this is where like my nine kill solo game was. And very similarly, mostly did okay on that nine kill solo because people saw me first but didn't kill me <laughs> and was just saved. It seems like it's on Superstore. So I think we want a couple of things. I'm not a loadout guy in solos. I'm a UAV man. We pop it to make sure we're safe. And then we get another one. I do want my loadout. Uh, I know I said I wasn't a loadout guy. I mean, I don't want to buy one. But to get one... My sniper is very, very helpful. And it seems pretty safe here. Believe it or not. But there's... Oh my god, are you kidding me? I just... I'm nervous. Pop the other UAV. Yes, that's why. Because there's a man in the hangar here. He knows I'm here. Stop disappearing behind the box! I'm bad. He's got a pistol, I think. Well... You take it. We take those. <laughs> Textbook, right? A vehicle. He'll probably keep going. Dude. Fair enough. Fair enough. You got me. All right? <laughs> I'm... I sh if I had just looked behind me, dude. That was a good kill. I can't be mad, but... I'm, I'm just like, let me relax for two seconds, dude. Then you're going to throw me right into a high-octane gulag right away. Oh, are you my, are you my opponent? Going to deck you out in the Supremes. I like left side here. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. <laughs> Now, here's the, the ultimate question, as always. Do you land on top of your loadout? Usually, having just died there, might not be recommended. On the other hand, very easy way to get... Oh, somebody's doing a recon in there? I gotta try, dude. It's probably the dude who killed me. If he gets me again, he gets me again. It's called science, sweetheart. So it was one of these two buildings. I think we can bail. Enemy UAV yeah. Oh no, we got our loadout, so at least we have our ghost perk. And we got our heartbeat sensor. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so we made it out. It's a positive. That's a positive. Now we can play the slow game. I think it, no one would ever suggest we didn't give the fast game its due diligence. I, I tried to close the window after I broke it. Um, so what do you do? Um, I do feel like right now... Scary. In fact, hold on. Let me think. This could be occupied. Probably wouldn't be. With all the armor? Supply box located. Are secure. But with perks available, you never know. So there's a temptation to grab some of these. Oh, we have no ammo? Alright. I think we gotta make a move then. It may be more likely to get us killed, but we need sniper ammo to compete. Nobody that we can see? Doesn't mean there's nobody there. Someone's been here. Hopefully he's not still here. Or hopefully they are still here and we we trash him. The decoy, or sorry, the heartbeat sensor is not 100% reliable after people get their loadouts. But a surprisingly small percentage of people, well, smaller than 100% of people, let's go, get their loadouts in solo. I do like the circle, but I wouldn't mind moving. I don't want to buy armor yet. Money's a little low. Can't even afford it. I think usually this is around the time. Let's not get cocky. Anything could happen. We could die, we could die right here. Um, anything could happen. But this is around the time. If I get to choose how I'm playing the game. That was me, I think. I honestly, I prefer where we're at here. If we get to choose how to play the game. This is where I find a spot in what I expect to be the circle. I did hear shooting near here. And try to hold it for a bit. Oh good. The John Wick gun. 40 meters across. Moving or in a place? That's the question. In a place, I think, is the answer. Gas is inbound. Hear me out here. This is gonna get hot. We camp it up. Oh, this doesn't have a second story? Never mind, I hate this. Twenty meters. So he's just in the opposite building. You know what? I thought I saw movement there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. He will return. You don't peek out the same window forever. <laughs> Enemy UAV overhead. Won't get me. I got ghost. Just keep everybody where we know where they are. I, saw, I see him. <laughs> Come on. It was a good hit. It was a clean hit. Question is, what do you do now? 17 meters. I don't really want to be here when things pop off. Now that we shot, it's 
probably advantageous to move. That guy's not. That guy's not going anywhere. I these buildings are all trash. What are the odds that's going to be safe? Low. Really for safety. Help. Is that at me? Enemy UAV overhead. <laughs> Honestly, I I invite I invite fear into my life here. I think it would be good for us to capitalize on some chaos. I think we can start to move in with the circle, much like we did last time. I'm not trying to... Necessarily... I saw him. That's a bush. Is that a ghillie suit? How did they get a bush up there? It's getting closer, huh? We need sniper ammo, but it's a bit of a risky play. A oh, 30 meters, okay. 35 meters. 33 meters. Gas in. Well, honestly, this... No! I don't know where... He must have been super close to us. That That is unfortunate. Let's put it that way. But we came 18th with another six kill game. And we got ourselves out of the gulag. It's another solid performance that I genuinely could not be upset with at all. We even fought back. We didn't just give up after we got ourselves in a dangerous spot. So, dude, I'm like pretty pleased with that, honestly. Um, let me see. Did we go 0.94? Oh, baby! <laughs> We're up 0.02. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, please do click the like button. It helps out a great deal. If you watched all 27 minutes and 53 seconds, I'm going to assume you did. It's the single best way to long-term help out a channel you're a viewer and subscriber of already, so please do click the button. Apart from that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out Dan and Mouth's perspectives and uh, goldengoblet.net to see how everybody did today. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!